Edith LaBelle here backstage with new Cage Warriors featherweight interim champion. Paul, I know you're very emotional right now, but how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling like a world champ, to be honest. I'm tired. I mean, not, not tired, but like just the adrenaline is, is like, it's a crazy thing. I want to see my family so bad. And um, we, we just got finished, got a few breaths, so I'll go out and see them after this. And I know some fighters have mixed feelings about the interim championship, but you don't, right? Like, no. This is the belt in your see, eyes. No, I'll give you, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. So w when they announced this um, as, an interim, as an interim belt, I mean, it was the only fight they could do. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to cut the best promo of all time. And whenever they give me the belt, I'm going to throw it in the ground and fucking call out Jordan. And I'll be the best promo ever. And then I thought about it and was like, wait a minute. Absolutely no way. This is the real belt. Like, I beat Jordan. No, no question about it. When I beat him, I would have been fighting Chapa next. So in my eyes, this is absolutely really well built. Jordan hasn't fought in quite a while, in quite a while now, mm -hmm. and I beat him. So to be completely honest, this is the real belt. This absolutely is the real belt. And as I said to Jordan when we done the face off there, he's fighting for my belt. And I truly believe that. I mean, like I'm I'm straight up when it comes to these things. But I truly believe that this is this is the real belt, and he's fighting me for this belt. So. And what did he say about it? <sighs> I can't even remember. I was just talking shit. I mean, like me and me and Jordan have we so much respect for each other, and I'm really like the guy. I'm a big fan of his big supporter like I see a lot of likeness in in Jordan and myself um, I mean we're just two dogs we're two young guys coming up after but it is the fight game and I sacrifice too much for anybody to get in the way of that and he's in my way now and he's gonna have to go and you've been calling out this man for so long and you were so excited to get in there How, did it live up to the hype like the actual like belt aside to to you know to be in there with him to compete with him like did it, did it live up to the hype yeah, I mean, I mean, that has to be one of the most exciting things Cage Warriors ever done. It has to be. I mean, them walkouts were the most insane thing ever for such a small venue. The Irish versus the French. And not just the Irish and the French, it's just the, the, the Cage Warriors fans in general. I mean, that was insane. And what a way to bring back crowds to fights. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. Nation versus nation for a world title. The storyline of the fight, I've been calling Chap out for 18 months. As I said to him at the Wens, there was a reason for that. I knew I was going to break him. And the first two rounds was tough and he was putting a good pace on me. He maybe won the first, maybe won the second. But I knew when it came out for the fourth set, we're here now, round four. And I think but that was the round I'd done a lot of damage in. I think that was the round I possibly dropped him. So. And do you have more respect for him now? Do you still find him boring? I mean, like, like I'll, I'll cut the shit now. I mean, like, I have nothing personal against Morgan. I have nothing personal against anybody, period. I mean, like, I just don't have beef with people. It's not a way to live your life. Um, I've seen it as competition and I've seen it as business. And I have nothing against Morgan at all. I mean, I think instead, I, the boring thing, I wasn't talking shit. I, I just believed it. I wasn't making that up. It wasn't a facade. I was just being real. And, and I always try to keep it real, but... Much respect to Morgan, amazing martial artist, his coach, love his coach, his coach is hilarious. Um, and much respect to him and much respect to his fans as well. And I hope that we just put on a good show for the, for the guys at home. Well, it was a good way to get his attention. It worked. And I was going to say, you obviously are a very talented fighter. One more thing that you're talented is like to get under people's skin. And I saw you smiling at him before, at the, at the end of the fourth round, and he got, really got under his skin and he ended up throwing a shot after the bell and that costed him a point. Now, I had a rear naked choke at him, mm -hmm. and he put his, but it, it, it was in, and he put his fingers in my gloves and pulled it away, and, and he also hit me after the bell, which thank you for reminding me, because I completely forgot. That's, that's a bit, I mean, it's a bit crazy that there wasn't a point taken off him, or two points taken off him. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's pretty crazy, to be completely honest, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I almost forgot about that. It's pretty crazy. That's always the way with me. I need to watch everything back to, to take it all in. Like, the way I see it now, the way I perceive it, now, I know that wasn't a technical fight on my behalf. Like, I know that already. But, I mean, taking in circumstances, that cage, like, I have never slipped in a spar in a fight in my life. And I'd say I fell about five times tonight. That's crazy. Now, obviously, it's, like, it's just the fact that people are probably throwing things into the ring that how you're supposed to control that. But like, I remember getting into the cage at the start of the fight and my feet on the canvas, it was completely soaked. And there was positions where, in the last couple of rounds, where I was holding Morgan against the fence. And when you hold someone against the fence, you could lean on them and sort of lean a little bit and breathe. And I was actually using so much energy to not slip. I was thinking, please turn me, 
and put me against the fence so I can get a rest because I can barely stand up here with a sweat or with the water or whatever it was. So like, it was just a crazy fight. I know it wasn't technical, it was nowhere near my best performance, but I don't want to have to do, and I had to go through a lot of shit to get here tonight. A lot of shit in, in the last couple of months. And just making it here tonight was a win for me, and I, I'm just such a dog, I know when it's fight day, I put it on, and that's what I've done tonight, and I'm fucking so proud of myself, to be honest. And I know your dream is to make it to the UFC, and I know with no doubt you will make it there. But you said you would wait and have that rematch and have that unification with Jordan first. Do you, do you mean that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course, I'm going to hear out the UFC for sure. I'm, I'm working with the best, best in the game in Paradigm, so we've, we, we will be in talks, I'm sure. But Jordan, that, that has the potential. As, as I said to Jordan in the cage, I says, we have the potential to change the game for European MMA and do something that's never been done before. And I know how the top guys go from cage world is UFC, and it's an amazing thing. But perhaps let's me and Jordan make this the biggest thing Cage Warriors has ever done. Not so Cage Warriors isn't just, ah, you just go UFC. Why not make it so Cage Warriors and the European scene is the best of the best of the best outside of the UFC. And it's almost as prestigious to win a Cage Warriors European world title. Or you know, European world title. But do you know what I'm saying? I think we have the potential to do something incredibly amazing. For European MMA because of the storyline and because of look at what happened there tonight we have the potential to change the game in that sense and I'd be it would be an honor to do that with with someone like Jordan who I respect so much but of course I mean I'm here to be the UFC world champion as well I've just accomplished the first major goal in my career and I will do the second and I mean Jordan's Jordan's going to the top two Jordan's going all the way so if we meet in cage warriors great if we meet in the UFC even better. So. Well, the whole nation of Ireland must be so proud right now, and even more so your parents, and I know you cannot wait to go oh. see them and hug them, so I'm going to let you do that. Thank you.